I purchased soil moisture sensor for less than $7. Is it a Mi Flora Killer, which costs around $22, or just another cheap gadget? Let's find out. SmartTube welcomes your subscribing. Let's go. I'm gonna start with some description of this product. So this is a soil moisture sensor which works over the Zigbee and you can find two versions. One that works with the Tuya application and another which is for the Home Assistant. And as you may know, I prefer Home Assistant. So I have a version for Home Assistant and it needs uh, two AA batteries. But uh, why I said in the intro that it is a Mi Flora killer. So with the Mi Flora, uh, the Mi Flora is really great product. It works really, really well. And I, until now, I'm not sure whether this is gonna beat, but until now I haven't found any good soil motion sensor that would be really reliable like Mi Flora. So with the Mi Flora, I have some problems like uh, first can be a uh, a Bluetooth. So this sensor is on Zigbee, Mi Flora is on Bluetooth. And with the Bluetooth, I think the sensor cannot be really far away from the from the gateway. And uh, I'm using it also now uh, a one device in the home assistant and it works. But you know, if it's on the Zigbee, you know that the range where you could put the, the device is is bigger with the with the BLE it's not that far and the another thing is that about the, the battery so I noticed that my battery with the Miflora is uh, draining I think quite quite good as I had to replace it I don't know after f probably a few weeks I'm not sure whether maybe the readings are not correct I mean like and they are sending the results after each change. Maybe that's, that's the reason. But, you know, I have it and I really like it. However, the problem is that it's very expensive. So $22 for, for the device that is for the plant is quite a lot. So I was looking for a bit for something uh, for a substitute. And uh, in my videos, you can find uh, another device that I, I, I had. And uh, you may find a link in this video description. And as well as the link to this product, where you can find the cheapest auction on AliExpress. But Mi Flora is $22 and this one is under, under seven, seven dollars. So I think you could find for, for around six. If you are using some coupons, maybe you could get, get even better, better price. But not everything is the same. So as I said, this is the Zigbee and it works with the two AAA batteries, not like Mi Flora with the CR2032. And I think that's the differences between those two, two devices. And later I will show you the readings that I will compare this readings, the readings from this device with the Mi Flora. And that's going to be, I think, everything in terms of the the box and some introduction to, to the device. So let me open the box and see what's inside. So there is a manual, but let's start from the device. So the device is not heavy. If you, when we put the batteries there, for sure it's gonna be a bit. So here is the line, the lowest line, so we cannot put it under this line to, to the soil. So that's fine. You know, I think that Mi Flora goes a bit deeper than this uh, sensor. I'm not sure whether that's enough, but um, for my plants, usually it is said that you need to go, let's say, let's say check the moisture on four centimeters. I think it's uh, a bit below. So, okay. So in terms of the device, I think plastic is very good. It's not like very premium, but it seems to be fine. Not much written on it. Here we have the button. I assume to put it device to the pairing mode or reset it. That's, that's that. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last because I've seen some, let's say articles and people saying that 
the size device will not last long. However, I, I hope that it is something better than used to be and it will work for, for the longer time. And uh, let's maybe also look at the, the manual. So here you can see a bit what is in the, in the device. So the soil moisture sensor is on this part, but the air temperature and humidity is under the, the cover where are the batteries. So yeah, it's not reading the temperature of the soil what i think would be good to know especially where when you have the the pots on the on the sun so we don't want to get them too too hot so battery cover reset button indicator light yes all that we we've seen so three seconds and the device goes to the pairing mode and how to insert it i think it's already was quite clear so there was a line under which we cannot go and that's that's it i think that's gonna be it from the other side is is the same but in the chinese let's open the top and here you have a space for two AAA batteries and as usually you should not use rechargeable batteries because they have different volts and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna now take two uh, AAA batteries and let's put them here so I think this way this and this and we can close it okay so you can already see a red light is blinking so I assume now it is in the padding mode so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna now go to the home assistant and we can pair it uh, in the in the home assistant and I hope all will be fine. Okay, I'm in the home assistant. Let's go to my CB2 MQTT and open my network to add a new device and it is open. The device is still blinking. I'm not sure that it wants to pair. Okay, it stopped blinking. So I'm pushing the button and okay, it's blinking again. And let's wait until it adds to the home assistant. Okay, so I think we, we have it. So as you can see here, we have the device. So let's open it. And the, the picture is accurate. So this is, this is that. So seems to be all good. The battery 100%. Okay, okay. What it does it expose? humidity, soil moisture, there is nothing, and then temperature. So I'm not sure why 28, I assume the temperature is like, uh, you know, above the sensor or nearby, but yeah. So generally, that's it. And what we can see that water shortage, temperature, humidity, soil moisture, I think when we're gonna put it to the pot, then we're gonna see it. But the good thing is about what we have after. So you can see that we can calibrate the temperature, humidity, soil, uh, moisture and temperature sampling. Okay, so that's very interesting. So it means that what we can do that we can check or the device will check uh, the, all the readings in some intervals so not like every every second but every i don't know like here 30 seconds so that's really really great and we have 30 seconds of f for everything so that's that's fine the the quality is good actually i'm very near my gateway my zp gateway the battery is fine so all all is good so what i'm gonna do maybe i will just go to the info and change the friendly name it's gonna be in the backyard okay so i think that's that's gonna be that's gonna be it in terms of the home assistant so now what we're gonna do is i will put this device next to the mi flora and we're gonna compare the readings and i assume that mi flora is so well known that we assume that mi flora is giving the correct results and we what I expect that this device will be also very close to Miflora and will get a nice substitute to the very expensive Miflora. So I will be very happy and I assume, I assume you too. I managed to test the two devices and now you can see on the screen what, what, what happened. So the two devices, Miflora and the, the new one that now we are testing, were, were together in the same pop. And you can observe the readings that the yellow is for the 
new flora and the blue is for the new new sensor when i put the sensor to to the soil it was not reading anything so it was really hard to have any readings i was restarting that uh, it and i was restarting it i was taking the batteries out and then in and then putting again back to the the soil but something was not correct and i managed somehow to to get those readings and you can see that the readings were quite high so even when it was really getting dry for example, all here, you can see that Miflora went up to below 40, but for some reason in, in the new sensor, the readings were growing. I was not sure what's, what's happening yet. So with Miflora, this is a, a medium, it's an average with the, the readings are the average. So you can see if, if, if I would show you what really was happening. So when I was watering the pot, then the miflora was getting even 100% uh, the the moisture but it was quickly dropping to 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 this numbers like like you can see here so around 60% after watering the pot so i think that was quite quite right after watering it grows really and then when the water was just going through the pot it was it was dropping i would say that miflora is working well but the new the new sensor unfortunately is not working correctly so i think the readings are wrong and based on on this chart you can see that something something is wrong with the with this sensor so it it doesn't work as it should as expected and i was reading more now feedbacks on on this device that i bought and it turns out that it is not just me when it's not working, other people are also reporting that it doesn't work at all. It shows, I don't know, the same number all the time. And yeah, it doesn't work as it should. I think now we can go to the summary. And I'm a bit disappointed that this device, it doesn't work. I think the price seems to be fine and fair. And unfortunately, it doesn't work as it should. So I do not recommend this device. I will give you a link. So you will not so you can be sure that you will not buy it uh, but i will also give you a link to me flora and yeah i can recommend me flora that it was great the things that i actually don't like about it is the battery doesn't last long so that's the, the only problem that i noticed that maybe the reason is that the readings are sent all the time so even if there is a small change it's just reporting so it's connected all the time maybe there is an option that you could turn off that connection and it will not get the data uh, I don't know, every second miflora is a great product i hope it will get something like that but on the zigbee i will keep looking i'm just disappointed with this device which is very cheap but unfortunately it doesn't work you can find on my channel that i was testing also this device so very big uh, soil moisture sensor and i think i had it second season and unfortunately it also doesn't work quite well now so it was also in the pot but it was showing some wrong numbers i think in my previous in this when i was reviewing this this product it was quite good and the readings were were correct but now it seems that yeah it doesn't work as as it should so I'm not, i was not showing you the readings from this device but they were i think they were quite high and seems to not be not correct so me flora was was a bit different or the me flora was completely completely different so that's why yeah something having happened with this device so i also now can say that i would not buy it i, I think i have the mi flora for i don't know four years five years and it was in pots in some plants but yeah it still worked if you have any experience with some soil measure sensor that works well for you please give a shout write in the comment so maybe i could also buy it and test it in my environment and tell others that it works correct and good so i hope that i will find it someday and for now that's that's everything so thank you for watching consider subscribing see you next time bye